Imagine a gigantic vessel in the middle of the ocean, but this ship carries neither passengers nor cargo. Instead, millions of salmon are raised inside it. It may sound like science fiction, but this is a real project that has revolutionized Norway's salmon industry, Have Farm. Today we will explore the secrets of this floating giant in the open ocean, its technology, and how it is shaping the future. So, what exactly is Have Farm? Brought to life by the Norwegian fish farming company Nordlax, this project is one of the world's largest offshore salmon farming facilities. It was built by CIMC Raffles at the Yantai Shipyard in Shandong Province, China. After construction was completed, the structure was transported to Norway on a journey of thousands of kilometers. The facility now positioned offshore about 5 kilometers southwest of Hatseloya Island in the Vesterålen region of northern Norway became fully operational as of 2020. This place is nothing like the calm waters of the fjords. Harsh waves, strong winds, and challenging weather conditions are the norm in this region. That's why Hav Farm was specially designed to withstand even the most extreme sea conditions. The project's total construction and development cost varies across different sources. According to reports, the total cost of the Hav Farm project was approximately 160 to 170 million US dollars. Calling it a ship isn't entirely accurate. It's more appropriate to describe it as a marine structure. With a length of about 385 meters and a width of 60 meters, it's so massive that if you laid the Eiffel Tower on its side, it would almost fit next to it. This colossal structure can hold around 10,000 tons of salmon at a time, which is roughly 2 million fish. These figures point to a capacity that goes far beyond that of traditional fish farms. The reason behind the emergence of this project is quite significant. Norway is a world leader in salmon farming. However, traditional farms are usually established in sheltered bays known as fjords. Over time, this increases environmental pressure, contributes to the spread of parasites such as sea lice, and raises the risk of diseases. This is where Hav Farm was designed as a solution to these problems. The logic behind the idea was simple. Why not move fish farms out into the open sea, where the water is cleaner and the currents are stronger? One of the most impressive aspects of Hav Farm is its advanced technology. There is only a small crew on this massive structure because most critical operations, such as feeding, are managed remotely through automation systems. Sensors continuously monitor water quality, oxygen levels, and the health of the fish. Strong currents keep the water inside the nets constantly refreshed, creating a healthier environment for the salmon and helping waste disperse naturally. The structure is designed to maximize the benefits of the ocean's natural currents. This way, environmental pressure does not accumulate in a single spot. Sea lice are the biggest nuisance for salmon farms. These parasites harm the fish and cause significant economic losses for the industry. Another innovative feature of Hav Farm is the way it tackles this problem. The nets of the structure start about 10 meters below the water surface. Since sea lice usually inhabit the upper layers of the water, this design naturally prevents the fish from coming into contact with the parasites. As a result, the need for chemical treatments is reduced, marking a major step forward for both fish health and environmental sustainability. However, like any major project, Hav Farm also brings some controversies. The aquaculture industry, in general, is criticized for its environmental impact, the mixing of escaped farmed fish with wild populations, and the spread of diseases. Some critics argue that the long-term effects of massive structures like Hav Farm on ocean ecosystems are not yet fully known. In particular, potential accidents or fish escapes in such large-scale operations can raise serious concerns. On social media and various platforms, there is frequent debate about whether projects like this are truly sustainable. However, Nordlax emphasizes that from the very beginning, they have invested in technologies to minimize these risks and have continuously conducted environmental monitoring. As for the current status of the project, Hav Farm 1 has been operating successfully since 2020. Data from the initial harvest periods indicate that salmon raised in the open sea are not only healthier, but also grow faster. This success demonstrates that the project is just the beginning. Nordlax plans to take the Hav Farm concept even further. For instance, work is ongoing on more dynamic, even self-propelling versions like Hav Farm 2. Such futuristic designs offer a vision where fish farms in the future could roam the oceans in search of optimal water conditions, rather than being fixed in one location. In conclusion, Hav Farm is not only a colossal engineering marvel, but also a tangible example of efforts to meet the protein needs of a growing global population while reducing environmental impact. In a world where we are reaching the limits of traditional methods, bold initiatives like this, which combine technology and nature, provide important insights into the future of food production systems. Of course, it is still too early to say that such mega-projects answer all environmental and ethical questions. Nevertheless, Hav Farm is opening the door to a new era by taking the aquaculture industry from land straight into the heart of the ocean.
I'm curious about your thoughts on this colossal floating farm. Do you think projects like Have Farm represent the future of sustainable food production, or do they pose a new risk to the oceans? Don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments. If you enjoyed our video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss more fascinating topics like this. See you in the next video and goodbye.